From top secret military bases to amazing natural wonders, in this video we look at strange things you can find on Google Earth. Number 11 Human Lips At first glance, this natural structure appears to be the rosy lips of a person outlined in small black dots. However, its peculiar shape seems to be a coincidence. And there is nothing out of the ordinary hidden within the massive hills. But as with many other curiosities, people have come up with several extreme theories about what might lie beneath this red protrusion. It stretches about one kilometer long, or over half a mile, and the raised portion of sand is surrounded by trees which define the formation. It is located in West Darfur in Sudan. One of the theories about the lips is that they are encompassing a gigantic black hole that remains closed as long as the mouth remains so. This probably seems like a bit of a stretch, but something is for sure. These lips definitely don't blend in with their surroundings. Number 10. Mesa Huerfanita Located right next to the Mesa Huerfanita mountain in New Mexico is a strange, alien-looking site called the Trimatina Base. From above, you can see the facilities on the base, but the eye-catching details are the two overlapping circles that have diamonds in their centers. Some people believe that this structure is a space alien cathedral associated with Scientology. The fact that it's located just 200 miles from Roswell, a place that's had several UFO sightings, adds to this theory. In 2013, the Scientology Church spokesperson Corinne Powell told NBC News, as has been covered in the media for years, the facility is a Church of Scientology archival storage for the preservation of L. Ron Hubbard's scriptural writings and lectures. Archival sites are common among religions, such as the LDS Faith's Large Genealogical Archive in Utah and the Vatican Archives. Trementina Base is also mentioned in the book The Church of Fear, Inside the Weird World of Scientology. The author, John Sweeney, notes that the capitals carved into the rock were designed to help the church leaders find Hubbard's writings when the apocalypse comes. Powell went on to say, because the facility is in such a remote area, the most practical way to it is by air. The corporate logo of the church that operates the facility is carved into the ground to help pilots find the facility. Number 9. To All Lake This lake might seem like a standard body of water when viewing it on land. But if you check it out on Google Earth, you can see the hidden gems within. It is located on Luzon Island in the Philippines. The lake stretches 16 miles long and 11 miles wide, taking up a total of about 90 square miles in surface area. However, that isn't what's unusual about Taal Lake. Located inside the lake, at its center, is a landmass called Volcano Island, which is where the majority of Taal Volcano's significant eruptions were concentrated plus making this island within a lake within an island even more interesting is that there's another lake in the middle of Volcano Island. This one is called Yellow Lake or Main Crater Lake. However, when you zoom in for an even closer look at Main Crater Lake, this Russian nesting doll of the natural world encompasses another surprise. There is another island inside this small lake called Vulcan Point. Number 8. Pentagram Another curiosity on Google Earth is located in Kazakhstan, near the city of Lysakovsk. It is a giant pentagram carved into the ground that spans about 1,200 feet across. Many people naturally assume that the area has been used for worshipping the devil or some other dark activity. Plus, there are various archaeological ruins and cemeteries in the vicinity of the pentagram, making this theory seem like it could be the truth. However, the symbol has also been used by numerous religions and groups that aren't associated with Lucifer at all. According to the archaeologist Emma Usmanova, the pentagram is the outline for a park that was made in the form of a star. Live Science notes the star was a popular symbol during the Soviet era. Stars were often used throughout the Soviet Union to decorate building facades, flags, and monuments. Roadways lined with trees define the shape, and the park is now overgrown with weeds and deserted. 
Number 7. Desert Breath This work of art is found in Egypt, just off the coast of the Red Sea. It is a giant spiral made of 89 cones and 89 indentions in the sand. This man-made piece takes up about 25 acres of land. The DAST art team created it, a band of the Greek artists that included a sculptor, industrial designer, and an architect. The construction of Desert Breath was completed in March 1997. There used to be a 98-foot-long body of water in the middle of the piece, but it evaporated. Eventually, Desert Breath will disappear altogether. Number 6. The Boneyard The airplane Boneyard is in Tucson, Arizona, officially known as the 309th AMARG. It is part of the davis monthan Air Force Base and is the largest one in the world. This place is home to numerous aircraft that are no longer in use, including jets, planes, helicopters, and even space shuttles. However, it isn't only the Air Force that keeps their excess machines here. The Navy, Coast Guard, Marine Corps, and NASA store them here too. About 550 people are working at the Boneyard to take care of the aircraft. As of January 2017, there are over 4,400 machines here. The employees are tasked with reviewing paperwork, taking all firearms, clocks, classified hardware and ejection seat charges out of the aircraft and cleaning each one thoroughly. Washing is imperative to prevent corrosion, especially for vehicles that were used in salty places. Each one is also covered in a protective seal to prevent degradation from outside forces. Number 5. The Terrapaca, or Atacama Giant is located in Chile. It is the most massive anthropomorphic figure, meaning it has human traits to be created in prehistoric times that we know of. It is 390 feet long and represents a deity. The piece was most likely made sometime between 1000 and 1400 CE by the Incan people and other cultures. The Atacama Giant is only one of the numerous designs carved into this raised area. There are also birds and other enchanting works. However, this one sticks out the most due to its size. It is formed out of mostly straight lines and geometric shapes. It also appears to be wearing some type of headdress, perhaps a ceremonial garment. But what was the giant used for? Apparently, when the protruding lines line up with the moon, it could be used to keep track of the time of year. Therefore, builders were able to determine when the rainy season would be upon them. Number 4. Elephants Another fun thing to look at on Google Earth is a small area in Zakuma National Park in Chad. There are three light green square areas on the map, and if you zoom in on them, then you'll get a little surprise. There's a herd of elephants running across the savanna. These creatures were severely threatened by poaching before 2011, but their population is on the rise since park management was taken over and the destructive activity was entirely halted. There were over 500 of the animals counted in 2018, and the conservation efforts continue to be successful. So feel free to zoom in on these giant mammals on Google Earth to enjoy a quick safari from your work desk and remind yourself that people are doing good things out there. Number 3. Secret Base Many theorists believe these odd-looking structures in China's Gobi Desert are top-secret government bases. Many of these people think that the circular formation located between Mongolia and Nepal might be a runway for extraterrestrials. But there haven't been any confirmations that this is correct. They have decided to call this peculiar spot China's Area 51. However, if you look closely, there are three aircraft in the center of the circle. They don't look like typical alien flying saucers, but who knows? It could be a military base that the Chinese government has yet to comment on. In addition to this structure, just to the northeast, there is a rectangular shape containing various geometric designs. They might be carved into the landscape, painted, or maybe even formed out of walls. Their purpose remains a mystery. Furthermore, north of the geometric pattern are two similar shapes like upside-down pans that some believe are airstrips. Something is certain. These things were constructed for a reason, whatever that may be. Number 2. Spaceship 
When viewing this structure on Google Earth, there's no denying that it looks exactly like the flying saucers we've imagined or seen on the silver screen. The so-called UFO is partially hidden in the trees of a Romanian forest just outside of Timisoara. However, when you find out what this building really is, you might be a little disappointed. The supposed spaceship is actually a water tower that was built in the previous century, but don't feel bad, it fooled just about everyone. Number 1. Eye of Sahara Formerly known as the Richat Structure, the Eye of Sahara is found in the Sahara Desert and looks like a giant bull's eye from above. It is 25 miles across and exposes numerous layers of rock that vary significantly in age. In the middle of the dome, there is sedimentary rock dating back to the late Proterozoic Eon, which came before the introduction of complex life on Earth. Sandstone from the Ordovician period of the Paleozoic era is found on the outside of the structure. This dates back over 440 million years. Nobody is quite sure how this formation came to be, but there are several theories that could explain its existence. It was once thought to be the result of a meteor crashing to Earth. Another argument suggests that it could have been created by a volcanic eruption or an underground dome of magma. However, there are some who think that this curiosity is all that's left of the lost city of Atlantis since Plato's description matches the structure's size almost perfectly.